This is Impact Agent Darren Matwire. On August 27th, Hurricane Laura devastated our city. The people here in Lake Charles, Louisiana, they're no stranger to hurricanes or to hard work, but this year, it's a blue collar town. You know, really, they get after it. And they're, they're, they were already struggling with the economic impact of the pandemic when the storms, plural, storms came along one after another. And now they need help to rebuild. Now it's our time to make an impact. Good morning, my name is uh, Aldo Montemayor. I'm with the Disaster Relief here in Lake Charles. Texas, but uh, I transferred to Houston when I was uh, 2017. I graduated in 2019, and after that, I joined a trade school for welding. Due to the pandemic happening, I really wasn't uh, able to get a job in my, in my field of study. And due to the disaster relief back home, I was able to find a job here with uh, disaster relief and monitoring the trucks. The way I got involved with the disaster relief was the Hurricane Hannah had struck me back home in South Texas. So. Uh, they needed monitors, so I applied for a field monitor position due to Hurricane Hannah needing help to pick up. Uh, I'm originally uh, supposed to, I went to school for welding, but due to the pandemic, a lot of jobs got canceled, a lot of opportunities were not shown as they were, and uh, Zester Relief uh, was there for uh, helping. Speaking on behalf of the impact agency here in Lake Charles, I'd like to give a, a couple words of encouragement. Uh, my background story, uh, you know, just like most of us, we had, uh, had a rough ending in my senior year. Uh, I had a couple chances of not graduating to graduating. You know, every day was a little roller coaster. I was like, I'm going to graduate, I'm not. But I never gave up. I kept going. I kept showing up to school. I kept doing my best. Tried to the last very, very last minute. And I was able to get forward. Impact agents at Youth of America always remember to never give up and strive for success. Remember, you can make an impact. The impact agents have evolved into public servants and social activists ready to serve the community. Right now we're working in Lake Charles. If you look around, everything's destroyed. You guys got hit by two hurricanes, uh, you know, and, I, and I'm not down here working for free by any means. You know, I do get paid for what I'm doing uh, by the government, but, uh, but it is nice to be able to help people out, you know. thing about my job is I show up I give somebody a price uh, and not only am I selling the work but I'm selling myself so if I come I come back and I do the work that I told them I do you know they pay me the money we agreed on and it's a nice way to make a, a pretty good living I get uh, one guy that works for me he's down there his name's Jamie never been to Lake Charles before this is my first time and uh, yeah it's been a pleasant experience yeah it's a great field to be in and it doesn't require a lot of investment as far as financially speaking uh, a lot of it's just on on the job training um, so yeah which is what I like I don't I'm not a book learning type person I 
I think the biggest thing I've learned about Lake Charles since I've been down here is uh, uh, this small portion of the community that we've been in. Uh, seems like a tight-knit, uh, older community. So everybody's been real friendly. And yeah, uh, just the two of us. It's you know we both make pretty decent wages. I, I pay him about 400 bucks a day, and uh, you know that's good living for anybody. Uh, so there's there's good money in tree work. Uh, I'm, I wouldn't say that I'm uneducated, but I don't have a college degree, uh, you know, and, and I, you don't necessarily need one to do tree work. You just have to have a good head on your shoulders and, and do people the way you would want to be done, you know, give, give them a fair price. You got to make money on it, but, but you give them a fair price and you do what you tell them you're going to do. And uh, I've never paid a lot for advertisement at all. I just kind of word of mouth. I, I talk to one guy, I do a good job. He tells his friend, he tells his wife, his wife tells her friend that, you know, and, uh, and I've been able to make a, a great living. I got a wife and two kids at home and, you know, my wife doesn't have to work. Uh, I give a bunch of money to the PTO at the school and uh, it just, it's turned out to be a good living for me. Tree work is a good industry to get into. You don't necessarily have to be educated. You do have to be able to talk to people, which is a skill a lot of people need, especially now with everybody being buried in their phones and always on social media. You know, the art of talking to people is lost. And if you get into, you know, tree work or really any of the green industry, you, you get to talk to people, uh, you know, when you're at their house and they get to tell you stories and you tell them stories and, you know, it's nice that uh, it's a skill that a lot of young people don't know, don't have. They don't know have the ability to talk to anybody and everybody, and you kind of gain that when you're working at people's houses. authentic, real learning in the real world.